Okay, we're going to have a quick look at how to put um, floor textures into um, a one-point perspective. So this is a sketch here of a one-point perspective. I've got an example one I can show you already. So if I click up here to show you, I've got a wooden floor in, and you notice that it goes around the shapes rather than over them or behind them. So I've managed to get it to go into that selected area. I'm going to show you how I did that. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open up um, a new surface texture. So I've got one in the background here called black and white carpet tile so I'm going to use that one in a moment and I'm going to put that in there how do I do it well I go onto my background layer first of all because this is where my sketched image is the scan of my sketched image I'm going to use my selection tool here my quick selection tool I'm going to make sure I'm on selection tool normal and I'm just going to select that whole area you can see it's put the marching ants around that outline area okay if I needed to add or remove any extra bits um, I would just switch over to the minus or the plus tool here to add bits in or take bits away from the selection. Once I'm happy with the selection, like I am now, I'm going to come onto my layers, I'm going to click a folder, and I'm going to click a mask. Okay, and I've got that in there. I'm going to call that um, carpet, just to give it a label. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flick over to my carpet tile. I'm going to do Control A to select it all, Control C to copy it. I'm going to come back over here, make sure I'm on the correct layer, and I'm going to do Control V to paste. And you can see it's popped in, but it's gone right in the middle, I can't see it properly. I'm going to go for my Move tool, you can see there's the boundaries, if the boundaries are not switched on you need to turn them on in the top there, but I'm going to drag it down. And you'll notice when I drag it, it's only dragging it into that selected area. Okay, But that still doesn't look right to me, the tile effect's wrong, so what I can do now is while I'm in my selection tool, I'm going to basically hold down control. Watch what happens when I go into the corner and press control. You can see that turns into a little arrow. It allows me to distort now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically distort these corners until it gets roughly into the kind of perspective that I want it to go into. So I can be as accurate as I want with this and manipulate it until it looks kind of pretty much the way I want it to look. Let's get that corner right. So something like that and then when I'm happy I just tick the button there and I can have as many different layers as I want I can switch them on and switch them off to see what they look like to give different options within there